Hello everyone, this is the Alley Man. I'm going to show you today how to make scissor doors for a car that you might want to be putting in San Andreas, GTA San Andreas. And the first thing that you want to do, I'll, I'll do an example. I use my car that I've been trying to just uh, make for the for the game on how to get scissor doors only. <clears throat> the easiest or the first thing that you need to make sure is that all of your uh, axes to your parts, like especially the doors, since we'll be working with the doors, are orientated to the world. And the way you do that in ZModeler, you go to Display, Local Access, and click this little box. You want to, you want to have Check, Keep Object, and Orientation, and then down here to uh, Reset to Parent, uh, or to the world. So that way it orientates everything to the world, to the world settings. That uh, it won't be all messed up and so forth. It'll be reset to world, and you just click on the part. But make sure you have keep object and orientation only. If you use offset, it's going to move it. If you have keep object unchecked, it's going to move that object towards the center of the world. So once you have that, you have your car loaded up. The best thing to do is to make sure you uncheck everything else that you're not going to work with. All we need is the doors. So I'm going to uncheck everything that I don't need to mess around with. And that way it makes it a whole lot easier. You don't get lost as to which, what parts is what. Everything except for the doors. Okay, we're going to work with the left door dummy first, or the left door settings. And you need to make sure that instead of having it in the left view window, you need to click that and check it to the right view right view settings okay once you have that done we're just going to work with the left door unclick the right for now you want to go to modify rotate click the little box right next to it and you want to have checked rotate geometry and rotate matrix uh, both of these check come up here to the very top and where your axes and you want to have Z axes first Z axis mode first. Go to the right view window, highlight your uh, left door, hold your shift key, click, left click once, and you get this quick rotation mode pop up menu right here. And you want to have plus 90. So this, this is going to be for the scissor doors. You say OK. And you can tell it flipped it towards, uh, towards the right. Now you want to come down here to your top view window, highlight it, hold shift, click, and you want to do minus 90 on this one, negative 90. Say OK. Now if you look in your 3D window, you see how it turned it up like so. If you turn on your chassis, you'll see how, it's, how it looks on here. And it turned them upside down and inside out. The way you know that you've got this correctly set is that the inside of the door will be facing towards the front of the car, and that the top or where the windshield when uh, when your windshield would be, it's pointing outwards. The front of the door will be pointing downwards, and the back end of the door will be pointing upwards. Keep that in mind, because if you get it set like if it looks like that, then you're you've done it correctly, you've moved it correctly. So let's take off the chassis for right now. And now we're going to do the right door. Do the same thing, keep it on rotate uh, geometry and rotate matrix. Go up to your right view window, make sure it's in the right view window again. Still in Z axis mode. Highlight your right win uh, door. Hold shift, click, left click, and you want to do plus 90 on this and say OK. Now come down to your top view window, highlight it, hold shift, left click, and you want to do plus 90 one more time. Say OK. Now if we look in our 3D window, you can see they're both the same, rotate in the same direction. Now we need to set the, the axes for each of these doors. You want to come up here and rotate, take off the rotate geometry, and just leave rotate matrix. Let's hide the 
right door for right now. You only want to work with the left. And uh, you want to be in the top view window for these next two steps. You highlight it, hold shift, left click, and you get the same pop-up window again. And you're in Z-axis first. The first step is Z-axis right here. And I believe it's going to be a plus 90 for this one. Okay. As you can see right here in the front view window, how the axis is turned upwards. Let me undo that so you can see. Right now, this is where it's at. You've got the Z pointing upwards, Z axis upwards, Y axis pointing towards the right, and of course, the uh, X axis is pointing towards the front. If you look over here in the right view window, this is the front, and see how it's pointing towards the front. If we keep it in Z axis to the top view window, hold shift, left click, plus 90. And if we go up to the front view window, you can see how it's turned the Z axis upwards and the X axis to the right. And then it's pointed the uh, Y axis towards the back. And that's how you want to have it, just like that. Okay, well now we're going to set the uh, the right door axes. It's a little bit different, not much. Make sure you rotate, rotate matrix checked, and then have Z uh, mode on. Only in your top view window, hold shift, left click, minus 90. Okay, one more time, but have it in Y axis mode. Highlight, hold shift, click minus 90 again and then you're set if you look at the front view window the x-axis is pointing upwards the z-axis is pointing left and of course your y-axis is pointing towards the back end of the automobile which that's the correct way it should be <coughs> take that off and turn the other door on <coughs> 